Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Now if you watched my last video you'll know that this one as well as the last one is in association with my other channel My Make Hi because over there right now I am doing Huel Week. So I'm going a whole week where I eat the Huel diet. So I eat two meals of Huel a day plus a thousand calories for the rest of the day and that includes my snacks and my main meal. Of which today's item is going to be for my main meal. So what I've got for you today is the Beef Vindaloo Naan. Now if you want to see the rest of the Huel Week, go over there and um, check out the channel. There'll be links in the cards and in the description, all the usual places. Um, I'm reviewing Huel, I want to see how I get on with it. So please go over and check that out. But for now, let's review this Vindaloo Naan. So this is from Snacksters. I've had a few of their things before and there'll probably be some more reviews from their range coming up because I've got myself a new microwave and I want to try some more of this stuff. So, this is the beef vindaloo naan, cooked beef in a spicy vindaloo sauce with rice and vegetables served in naan. And you can see it's got three chili peppers. Um, so this was really easy to make. You just bang it in the microwave for a minute and a half, flip it, and then another minute. Boom. Done. So I'm curious to see what uh, is actually in this thing then. So... It's cooked beef in a spicy vindaloo sauce with rice and vegetables served in the naan. It's got, so the, the naan is made from wheat flour with sunflower oil, yeast, a few E numbers, salt, sugar, preservatives, and more E numbers. Um, and then the beef vindaloo filling, which is 53%. It's got vindaloo paste, which is made from tomato, passata, water, vindaloo curry paste. Uh, chili, salt, paprika, coriander, cumin, cayenne, nutmeg, cassia, cinnamon, fenugreek, ginger, star anise, cloves, black pepper, and a E202 preservative. Lots of different spices there, which is good. Tomato paste, onion, green chilli, sugar, ginger, rapeseed oil, garlic, acidity regulator, corn flour, coriander, natural flavouring. And then the cooked rice is just made from water and rice, oddly enough. Cooked beef, 19%, which is beef silver side. Water, pea protein, salt and stabilisers, more E numbers. Peppers, onions, mayo, mayo, weird. Um, corn flour, sugar, spirit vinegar, pasteurised egg yolk. Blah, 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 blah. That's all just the ingredients of mayo. We don't need to know that. Modified, modified waxy maize starch. Okay, cool. So, lots of E numbers in there, which uh, are supposed to be bad for you, but apparently, I don't know if, it's, if the science actually backs that up or not. I'll need to do some research. Or maybe just, you know, do your own. Um, so, per beef vindaloo naan, you've got 322 calories, which... It's okay, it's okay. That's not too bad. Um, considering the size of it, I mean, there it is there. Decent size. 322 calories and it's most seems like it's mostly bread. I can live with that. Uh, 9.2 grams of fat. 1.3 grams of saturate, which isn't too bad. 49 grams of carbs and 5.1 grams of sugar, all of that's high. Uh, 4.8 grams of fibre. 9 grams of protein and 1.15 grams of salt. So, high in salt more than anything in carbs. But 322 calories, not too bad, not too bad. So, let's um, give it a try. I'm going to show you it there. So, this was done in the, the microwave. I can open it up, um, hopefully, we'll see. Uh, there you go. Open it up and see the insides. Mm, looks okay. Smells all right. Maybe liked a bit more filling, but um, I've got a fork just in case this thing dissolves as soon as I pick it up because I've got that, got that feeling. The bread's a bit torn on one end, so I think I'll try and eat it from that side. It feels a bit doughy, to be honest. I think it's a bit moist on the bottom. But anyway, let's uh, let's give this a try. So this is from Snacksters. It's their beef vindaloo naan. Let's give it a go. I should point out as well, the picture on the box looks like that, right? And this is just folded. I suppose you could, you could unfold it and wrap it the right way if you wanted to, but I think it would cause too much of a mess. Right, let's give it a bite. This should be really spicy. The naan's really chewy, really, really chewy. It's be expected when it's microwaved. Well, I've almost eaten about half of it. You can taste the beef, the beef in there, you get the texture of the beef. 
in the rice. It's a little bit spicy. Is it really vindaloo though? No. Not even close. It's like, it's the vindaloo that they serve, that in, they serve in Indian restaurants to British people that can't actually handle their spice. So I've heard that, I've heard this from Indian people that they make their stuff really, really spicy. And us, uh, us white boys can't handle it. To be fair, I don't think I could. <laughs> yeah, it's not really that spicy at all. Okay, there's a bit of a kick to it, but barely spicy. It's not a lot of flavour. Um, little toma tomato a little bit of the peppers in there, but ultimately, the biggest thing I'm tasting is the bread. The doughiness of the bread. Apart from that, not a lot of flavour to it. It's edible, but that cost me about a pound fifty, I think it was. That's not worth it. That's not worth it at all for a pound fifty. Yeah, it's spicy. It's got that bit of kick in the back of the throat, but um, besides that, it's not a lot of flavour. You know what I say? My motto is always: it's got. I don't mind spicy as long as it tastes good. But spicy just for the sake of being spicy. Pointless. Hmm. Yeah, a bit disappointing, but hey, I've had worse microwave things, let's be honest. Um it's pretty much what I expected. So I'm not too disheartened. Um didn't really expect any better than that to be fair. And snacksters, they seem to make reasonably decent stuff considering that it's frozen microwavable foods. So stuff's of a Probably the the best quality you can get from a microwave, you know, wrap or a burger or whatever. Um, that's frozen. Because you, you just can't beat a Rustler's, let's be honest. Well, I think that'll do. That has been the Beef Vindaloo Nan from Snacksters. I realise I'm holding that the wrong way around. Um, okay, but uh, nothing, nothing special. Uh, so if you like this video, give it the old thumbs up, hit the bell to get notifications anytime one of my videos comes out, and subscribe, I think I said that already, uh, leave me a comment uh, to let me know, I think that space is starting to get to me now, um, leave a comment to let me know if you've tried it, and if there's anything else you want me to try, I always read all the comments, so let me know what you think, and uh, head on over to Matty McHattie and check out Fuel Week. This will be the last video from SnackTube that's in association with Fuel Week. Um, the rest of the week... I'm making up batches of food to freeze. So I've got three big meals that I'm going to make and make them in a big batch and then freeze them. I've already done that with two meals so far and they were both really nice. So um, the next two should be good too. But that'll do. I'm going to go have the rest of my dinner now. I've got totties on. So I'm going to go eat my totties and um, you guys just have yourselves a fantastic day. Catch you later.